Good morning! It is just about breakfast time. I'm making my cauliflower and basil egg omelet. So here it is in the pan. I'm about to flip it onto the plate and then I'm ready to eat because I'm hungry this morning. Okay, well here it is. I just realized I have been up for an hour. That's probably why I'm so hungry. Um, so there is um, my omelet sprinkled with some paprika and I'm ready to eat it. I am very certain that I will like it just because I like eggs and I liked the cauliflower sticks that I made the other night and these are leftover florets from that. So um, let's give it a try anyway. Here goes. Yep, it's good. <laughs> it's very good. Okay, I just wanted to tell you about my lunch and um, my snack for today um, because of course I didn't get to try them for you, but um, my snack was carrots and hummus. The snack was okay. I love hummus and I don't really care for carrots. <laughs> Um, I ate my snack anyway, and um, I enjoyed it, like, enough. I'm just not a big fan of carrots, like I said, but I knew that going in, and I ate them anyway just because it was what was on the menu. For my lunch, most of it was, like, leftovers from other meals, um, and I thought the blueberries in it were a little weird, but it all tasted good, and it was fine. I'm about to fix dinner. I have a salmon. Um, I didn't know that it had skin on it. I don't know if that makes a difference. Um, but I've got salmon that I'm going to fix and green beans and some leftover lentils. And it's a pretty simple dinner, which is good because I am fixing dinner really late. It's like quarter to eight because um, I was talking to my friend on the phone. This clean eating challenge is really getting me to explore a lot of new things and while salmon is something that I have actually eaten um, quite often, I've never made it before. Today is the first day I've ever made salmon. So. Here it is fresh out of the oven. It is waiting for the green beans to finish up and then I can separate the green beans and separate the fish and then I'm going to add the lentils to the green beans for dinner tonight and then the other half are going to be for lunch tomorrow. I've never made fish like this. I've made fish sticks in the oven. That's the extent of my fish cooking abilities. But I think I have some new things that I can make now so hooray! <laughs> I'm actually, I'm really, really, really loving this challenge and um, it's been a very 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 good experience that's what it looks like all the way complete it looks so good I know I like the lentils and I like green beans so I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna like um, that part so I'm gonna try that part first yeah I like it <laughs> the green beans are a little bit crunchier than I would like but I don't think that's a bad thing at all okay now for the fish Oh my gosh, that is so good. And it was so easy. Why have I never made fish in the oven before? It was like super easy. I just took it, I did have to, I had to skin it. I didn't know that I had skin on it. So I did have to skin it. That took a little bit more work than I thought. But um, I took that off, just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, put some lemon wedges on the top and stuck it in the oven. And that was it so easy and it's so good oh my gosh I should be eating fish more often good morning it is time for breakfast and on um, today's breakfast um, I prepared last night it is mango chia seed pudding here is what it looks like Ta -da! I'm kind of excited about it because um, like I don't know it looked really good when I put it together last night and there's honey in it for sweetness and I might have put a little bit more than I was supposed to. Yeah, I just didn't measure it. <laughs> I thought it would be a lot runnier than that, but the chia seeds have definitely taken in a lot of the the milk. Alright, here goes nothing. I like it. I like it. It's um it's a little different 
the chia seeds are it's almost like a tapioca pudding which I really like tapioca pudding so um, that's really cool the mangoes could be a little bit sweeter but it is December I'm not that expectant of what a mango might taste like in December um, but I mean that's not really anything that I could help but you know you can replace that fruit with any kind of fruit and it's actually it's pretty good good evening um, I just wanted to tell you how lunch was um, and um, my snack I actually did not end up making and eating my snack that I was supposed to eat it was supposed to be a um, half a cucumber and carrots with hummus um, I just I never put that together I just ended up eating a clementine and baby bell cheese for my snack today um, actually for both snacks <laughs> um, and then for lunch um, it was the leftover green beans and salmon with arugula and the salad dressing that I made last night and it was really good I'm running into a bit of a not a dilemma because I know what my choice is going to be I'm just kind of I'm running into a craving I guess like I don't know if it's Friday and it's the end of the week and I'm tired and I just like am feeling lazy or um, if I'm just like I'm tired of cooking I don't I don't know what it is but um, just right now like I do not want to fix food I just want I like I want to eat out <laughs> I want to eat food I want to eat out and eat food that's not healthy for me <laughs> Not, I mean, like everything has been really good, and I know, and I'm pretty sure that whatever I eat tonight, it's gonna be good. It's just, I want something that's not healthy. <laughs> I'm grieving it. Ah, I'm not going to give in. I am going to eat what's on the meal plan, but yeah, I've cravings. It's just not. They're not good. Alright, it's at least an hour later and dinner is finally done. Um, it is a like long cooking process. It wasn't hard to make the chili for tonight, but um, you do have to let it simmer for like 30 minutes and then take the, the lid off or the cover off and then let it simmer for another 15 minutes. And so it wasn't hard, but it was just like a lot of waiting is what I had to do. So here's the final product. I have, um, I have a fork <laughs> and it's chili. I have um, chili and there's nothing but vegetables in here. Um, this is like completely meat free. Um, I believe that it would actually be considered vegan if it weren't for the Greek yogurt that I have here. I don't know what you can replace that with, but if you check that out, I'm pretty sure that this would actually be a vegan meal. This right here is zucchini that I cooked in the pan and just kind of added it on top of the chili. And then there's the chili and then this is paprika, um, Greek yogurt with paprika and salt. And um, so that's it. This actually makes two things of chili. The other one goes in here and then this is actually going to go in the freezer when um, it cools off so that I can actually eat this for lunch in like almost a week. Let's try vegetable chili with zucchini and paprika yogurt. That's really good. Oh my gosh. Like this whole week has been really good food. Of course. Okay, so unfortunately my camera died um, just in the middle of telling you how delicious this chili was. I'm like going back and looking at it and thinking about how good, so, so good. Like as soon as I took that bite, any craving for any kind of fast food completely went out the window. This chili was so much better than any fast food I've ever had. I actually plan on making a big batch of this um, in the future and just kind of like keeping some in the freezer kind of like I did um, during the challenge. Definitely one of my favorite meals uh, was this chili.